Hi, I'm Trey and welcome to one of my colouring videos. In this video I'm going to be testing and reviewing a pencil brand called Art and Fly. Now I hadn't heard of these pencils before I got them. Uh, I think I found one uh, review but they look promising and I got them and I'm really pleased I did. They were a real pleasant surprise. So uh, I will be um, testing them with baby oil and zesty solution. I'll also do a small colouring um, demonstration to show how they work on different paper. As with all my pencils, I take them out of the tins and put them in storage cases. This is a 72 set. And it's one of those sets I wish was actually in a 120 because they're really nice. Uh, they're a black battle uh, pencil. Not a bad th thickness. Um, they have a name on and a number and the um, name of the brand of pencil. Uh, the colour matches reasonably well to the, um, the core but I always use a swatch anyway sheet because they're not all the same and uh, it's always, I'd always find it easier. Now these um, are softer core but they do sharpen quite well but I use a, a turn tabletop um, sharpener so I find all my pencils work with well with that. The swatch that I've done, I do a very simple swatch sheet, it's nothing uh, complicated, I just put them in colour groups. Some nice colours, I like the, um, the orange and the reds because I use those quite a lot. And um, the browns, I would like more of the browns, but there's plenty of other colours. Like I said, this is just a 72 set. Now I use a, a Artie sketchbook uh, to check my pencils and test them. And uh, the one I use is from Crawford and Black. It's just thin paper, but it's got slight texture to it. Now the pencils I'm um, choosing to use uh, colour wise is uh, a dark blue um, 30 navy, a sapphire blue 38 and a yellow, a lemon yellow number 3 because so I wanted to check um, how contrast and colours work uh, with these pencils and also for blending. Please excuse my croaky voice seem to have a slight uh, dry throat today. <coughs> I think it's because I've been doing some cleaning and it tends to irritate my sinuses and my throat. Right. <clears throat> As always, I start with my lightest layer and I tend to, the lightest colour, light layers, and I tend to do this with my colouring as well. I find it works better for me. Now this has a very slight texture, this paper, and these pencils are going down really nicely on it. They are definitely softer than some of my other pencils. And these are a budget pencil as well, so I was really pleased. I mean, they were less than £20 for a 72 set, and I think that's a good buy, really. Um, they blend quite well and as you, uh, I hope you can see on there the um, when you overlap with the yellow it turns green and that's what's happening with these which is good and now my darkest blue it's a bit different from the other blue but again I want to see how these blend together you get quite interesting effects when you use um, quite different colours So that's one layer. And try and get um, a few layers down because I normally find that I need about five layers to blend reasonably well. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to repeat what I've just done and try and get five layers down.
Now that's five layers. I'm zooming a little bit. And there's still, you can see uh, the paper texture, but this is quite texture paper and I'm pretty sure I can get more down with these pencils. They really do work nicely. Now I've put down another uh, section of those pencils so I can do this um, blending test. I'm going to be using the Zest first and the Zest, I, it's a blending solution that is used for blending pencils. I have a sponge with the solution in soaked into the sponge and uh, I just put so much on the end of a cotton board and then take the excess off. I don't like it too wet. Now, <clears throat> when I'm doing a uh, blending with quite contrasting colors, I start as always in the light, but I don't go back into that light section because it'll drag the blue in too much. So let's gently move across. Now that's blended quite well and I found, I'll show you that, I found um, the Zest it works really well with more wax uh, pencils. So there must be more wax uh, ingredients in these pencils. Now I'm going to do the baby oil, just a little bit, like keeping a, a cup. And again I'll take off the excess from the cotton board, I don't want it too wet. But start from the light towards the dark. Now this time <clears throat> I find the baby oil isn't as smooth is a zest it and again I've, I've always felt that because it's got some pencil have more waxing and they work better with the zest it so now I'm going to try and put another layer down of these pencils start with the zest it first that I blended with because I tend to find if it's still slightly damp it reacts with the pencil um, core and can go down quite nicely afterwards so it's just light layers again. I'm just going to try and put one layer down. Medium blue. the dark <clears throat> blue. I'm only using light pressure and that's gone down really nice and on top of that it's been it's actually quite bright. I think it's brightened up those colours. Now let's try the baby oil now. Um, another light layer of each colour. Now that's worked okay, but I felt like the pencils were sticking and I found it I found it more difficult to get um, another layer down with the baby oil. So for these pencils, 
I would probably be using a zesty to do any blending. Now I'm going to do a, a, a small colouring tutorial or demonstration using these pencils. Now the book I'm going to be using uh, for this demonstration is Midnight Masquerade um, by Hannah Carlson. Now a lot of uh, her books are um, double sided as in there's a design on one side and also on the, the back of that. Now I find I can't use uh, blending solutions in those books because I don't want it to cause a problem for the other side even though this is thick paper. But some of these designs are not double sided which is what I prefer really and the design I'm going to be working on just part of it not all of it uh, is this I'm just going to be doing these fronzy bits from this moth design Let's zoom in there you go and I'm going to be using the, the colours I've did the tests with because I, I like that contrasting effect and I think it'll look nice with this now uh, this is just a single sided design so I should be able to use safely use my uh, blending solution which should be zested for this one so using the lemon the O3 from the Arteza set I'm going to do what I think will be the highlighted sections and that's where it's kind of the these fronzy bits kind of curve upwards now I'm just using light pressure this paper is reasonably thick in this book but it's also not got a lot of texture so I tend to find that I struggle with some of my pencils in this book which is a shame because I really like I really do like this book it's so pretty I like her unusual artwork so I'm just going to go around and put in what I think would be the highlight, the parts of the design, this section that bends upwards and flicks upwards at the ends. Now I'm going to put down the medium blue, which is the 38 in this set, the sapphire blue. I'm going to do the rest of those fronds in this colour, where I haven't put the yellow down. Now, when I use these pencils on the slightly textured thin paper, and I was testing them before, went down great. But with this thicker, less texture, smoother, thick paper, it's just sliding off. Um, and it's one of the reasons I haven't done a lot of colouring in this book, despite the fact I love the designs. It's because my pencils tend to slide right off this paper. Now, having thicker paper is great, but the, for me, I need a little bit more texture just to be able to get the pencils to take. Um, I mean, my, my Prismacolor works okay with this, but they're the, my most expensive pencils and I don't tend to use them very often. You know, I tend to use uh, budget pencils. So um, I am struggling with the paper in this book. I'm not sure if anybody else has had the same problem and uh, it'd be interesting to read to see if you have 
or what pencils you found work really well with the Anna Carlson books. Now I'm going to put down the darkest blue I'm using, which is a navy blue, number 30 in this set. I'm just going to go uh, where I think the darkest sections would be. This is just by eye. Um, just looking for an interest and effect, really. I tend to go to the closest sections that's attached to this middle part. Or where it's overlapped and just adding a little bit of contrast in there. I tend to tweak this as I'm going along, especially when I'm doing the layers. Now that's one layer down of each of those colours. Uh, with that darker colour I just kind of um, looked at each fronds and saw where I thought it would add a bit of interest and highlight the lightest colour. So you get a bit more of a kind of like a bendy effect, a flowing effect. It's difficult to explain really. Uh, it's just something that I try to do quite often. I do it with uh, feathers and hair so this is kind of been but I will, how I will do hair so it floats upwards put the lightest color on put a bit of a medium color in between and the darkest sections to highlight the flow of the of the fronds away from the highlights and that's generally how I, I do hair as well uh, still struggling to get these pencils down. I'm using very, very light pressure, but it's still kind of not really uh, taken. But I'll see how many layers I can get down, and then I'll come back to this. Now I've managed to get about four layers down um, of these pencils in this book. Now I have done... Um, a couple of other designs in this book but I used different pencils that were a lot more uh, softer wax so uh, for me I'm finding that these pencils don't react very well with this paper which is quite often what happens with pencils and paper in different books and this is the first time I've tried them in this uh, book so I'm going to try to do a little bit of blend with the zest see what happens just put a little bit on and I can use this S because it's not a design on the other side. Just gently do the lighter sections first. Now that's the zest put on the lighter sections, so now I'm going to put it on the blue as carefully as I can. I'm actually quite pleased that this has happened with these pencils with this paper because um, it shows that 
sometimes it's not the pencils that's you know the problem it's the paper you're trying to use them with and it's always good to showcase when things don't go you know perfect because quite often they don't and it's how to get round that or learning from experience and I've learned from experience doing this and showcasing this that I won't use these pencils in this book. When I keep notes um, on my swatches of which book or which kind of paper that the pencils work best with so that I know not to try and use them in books that they don't work very well with. And that saves me a lot of uh, hassle really. And also you don't waste a design that you really like um, when it goes wrong. It's always upsetting as well, isn't it? Now I'm going to try and put another layer down and see now how it works with uh, the zest on the paper. I'm trying with the darkest areas first. Still using light pressure. I think that went down a little bit better. Um, the uh, pencil is reacting to the zest and it's a little bit brighter. I'm still struggling with this paper, despite the fact I'm doing very light pressure. It is sliding about a bit, so it's not adhering to the paper much at all. Um, So definitely a, a pencil I won't use with this book again. I think I've used a Prismacolor and Castle Art in this book so far and they worked fine. I struggled a little bit with the Castle Art but the Prismacolor were fine. Now I'm going to put another layer down of the yellow and see how that works. I'm overlapping into the blue a little bit to change it and give it more of a greeny tint. I like to use these two colours together, um, it makes for quite a bold effect with your highlights but I like that, you know there's times when I like it to be subtle and times when I like it to be bold and interesting, um, especially with fantasy designs, I like the bold effect.
Now, it's improved it, um, but it still isn't uh, blending like I would normally get these pencils to blend. I've been, I've been using these for quite a few, few months now, well, probably about 12 months. And they work really well um, in the Colour in Heaven magazine books because that paper's got a slight texture and they work well on textured paper. When I print out onto textured artist paper, they work well with that. So the smoother the paper, the more these pencils will struggle. However, um, I think they are a, a good budget pencil and I was really surprised how well they did blend together in the books so I can get them to work with. So I hope anybody that's watched this has found this useful, you know, if you're looking into these pencils and um, I will say bye for now and I'll come back with another uh, review test video for another brand of coloured pencils in the near future.